Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The school holidays have started, so of course, low pressure is expected to dominate the weather through the next 10 days. That will bring with it a mixture of rain or showers and it will stay cool. Occasionally, there is the risk of strong winds as well. More on that in a moment, but uh, far cry from the heat wave that we had last week. Very hot at the moment for Southeast Europe. You can see these reds extending into the east of Europe. But for the UK now, the jet stream is to the south. The low pressure is centred on top of us. And so the cool, showery setup that we've got at the moment, that's expected to continue for the next few days and beyond. Having said that, it won't just be about the showers because when the jet stream is nearby, well, it can often pick up areas of low pressure and deepen them, depending on exactly how the jet stream interacts with these lows. Um, but so yeah, there's always that risk of some stronger winds and more prolonged rain at times. And that's certainly what's expected to happen with this low later Thursday. Ahead of the low, actually for much of England and Wales, it's a drier and brighter day compared to Wednesday. Plenty of sunny spells through the majority of the morning and first half of the afternoon with temperatures up to 20 or 23 Celsius, just the odd shower in the far south. Further north and it's further showers for Northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. The old thunderstorm for South East Scotland and North East England as well. Some slow moving downpours and more prolonged rain and a lot of cloud cover, some low clouds and sea fog affecting coastal parts of Northern UK as well. Now it's to the southwest where the clouds thicken as we end Thursday afternoon and then some very nasty weather potentially arrives on Thursday night. You can see it spiralling around this area of low pressure. The isobars tighten together as the low moves in. It rapidly deepens and could bring some significant impacts. Now it's across the southwest part of the UK on Thursday night into the early hours of Friday where there's the risk of gales for exposed coasts and hills. Heavy rain as well and for the far southwest, for the tip of Cornwall, that's where there's the risk of 60 or 70 mile per hour wind gusts, depending on how the jet stream interacts with that low and how much it deepens and so on. But there is that risk. So if you are camping and caravanning, and I'm sure there are a lot of people in that part of the world on our holidays at the moment, well, watch out for that and stay up to date with the forecasts and the weather warnings as well. The rain could also be a key issue with the, some very wet weather moving in across southwest England and South Wales and then extending into the rest of the southern half of the UK. And the rain or showers become slow moving on Friday. The gales run along the south coast, clearing later. And then the risk of slow moving thunderstorms around the centre of the low during Friday. So southern parts of the UK, some places where these thunderstorms or intense showers start uh, developing and and are slow moving, well, they could bring some heavy rainfall and uh, some surface water flowing and so on. Showers elsewhere across the parts of northern UK, but uh, drier, I think, for northern and western Scotland. Still a lot of low cloud and mist and sea fog and so on. However, as we head into the weekend, that low runs away into Scandinavia. And then the jet stream is well to the south of the UK. It's actually running along Spain there. And so unseasonably cool across much of northwest Europe. And this even cooler blob starts to move in from the north. And so uh, certainly by night, those temperatures are going to be getting lower through the weekend. There's always the chance of a touch of grass frost early Sunday in some sheltered parts of Scotland, for example. But also, along with the cooler air, it's brighter skies that will push in from the north. So at least we'll start to clear that sea fog and low cloud from the north of the UK and a better chance of seeing some brighter spells or sunny spells as well. Still a few showers across northern parts of the UK, especially in the northeast on Saturday. But the focus for showers through the weekend increasingly along the south of the UK and temperatures still fairly low for the time of year. And then into Sunday, a cool start to the day and some sunny spells developing. Uh, most of northern UK seeing dry conditions, but a focus for showers along southern parts of England in particular, and even some lively thunderstorms in places. But that uh, more settled weather in the north starts to filter south by Monday. So actually, an interlude as we begin next week, Monday and possibly into Tuesday as well. Many places dry, just the odd shower and some sunny spells. But it's unlikely to last because looking out to the west, powerful branch of the jet stream, low pressure sitting to the north of that. Both of these are expected to work their way towards the UK for the rest of next week and they will dominate out to day 10. And so the picture for much of next week 
broadly looks like this and fairly high confidence on the broad picture, low pressure across the UK, the jet stream to the south, so more of the same, cool, sunny spells and heavy showers in places. The exact shower distribution, of course, will vary day to day and from place to place. It won't be a washout all week. There will be some brighter spells and some warmer spells in that sunshine. However, there's also the risk, as is shown up in a few of the computer model runs, that with the jet stream being close by, it could pick up small features, develop them into quite potent lows and head to them towards western parts of the UK, bringing more widespread gales and heavy rain at times through next week as well. So overall, the theme is for the change of weather to continue. Much of the time it will be showery, but there is that threat of wind and rain as well. And as far as temperatures are concerned, well, this sums it up. This is for uh, somewhere in the central part of the UK. It could be just about anywhere, really. The red line here shows the average temperature for the time of year. The date goes out along the bottom there. And these boxes are the expected temperatures. Generally, it looks like they'll be at or just below average. And given how small the boxes are, well, it indicates that there's very high confidence for that trend when the boxes are bigger it tends to show more uncertainty in the forecast. So below average temperatures on the whole, low pressure, sun and showers, wind and rain were a possibility and staying cool. But of course, it's not going to be a washout. So in, make the most of the sunny spells, follow the showers on the Met Office app as well and step to step with all the forecasts and warnings, especially around Thursday night system. And you can find all the uh, necessary details on the Met Office website and app. Bye bye.